Hey everyone, Chris here, and today I'm checking out a game called Contraband Police. From what I've seen online, it kind of plays like Papers, Please, but it's obviously 3D, and there seems to be some wild stuff in the game. You know, there's kind of like shootouts, car chases, and tons of crazy stuff, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Karakata, Border Crossing, Arkistan, 1604-1981. Oh, hey there, buddy. Wake up, comrade. will be there soon. Bro, you almost hit that deer. Come on. Are we the good guys here or the bad guys? So this guy is saying we're not even going to last a week here. Alright, so it seems like there's bribery going on. Oh my god, I thought he was going to drive through the freaking fence. Okay, well, let's get out and report to the so called commissioner. I guess that's our boss. Thanks. Okay, I already got our first mission, so go to the office and pick up our duty folder. I wasn't going to check out that because that exclamation, but I guess we'll do that after. Let's head in here. And here's our duty folder. Okay, so this is going to give us various information. Border control duty handbook. So papers check. Again, kind of reminds me of papers, please. Even look at the name. Uh, so you have to check their name and surname. Values must be the same, expiration date, passport number. So again, just checking numbers and letters, making sure everything's the same based on what they gave me and I guess what they're supposed to have to be able to get into here. Same thing with photos, must be identical. I wonder how it works, like if it's the same person, but they don't have the mustache. I don't know if the game will do that to me. Uh, and I guess some info about the country. So Arkistan's People Republic is a country famous for its rich mineral deposits and metallurgical industry. Uh, so here's our flag, currency, official stamps, and valid stationery. Okay, so there are other countries, and I guess some of them are allowed in, but not other ones? Oh my god, there's even information about cars, how much they should kind of weigh. Oh man, this is going to be um really, really in-depth. Oh man, it even looks like there's some collectibles. So there's some KGP files. And some kind of hidden cash around. I'm sure we'll do fine. So pull the lever to invite the first driver. I guess it's this guy. Ooh, let's see how this goes. I don't know if I'm quite ready for this, but... First day on the job, so it might be a little rough. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? Okay, let's ask him to show him his papers. You have your documents. Thank you. So now use the document comparer to check the correctness of the driver's data on both documents. So I guess we just click that. Yep, name checks out. So comparing documents reduces your perception level. When you get tired, comparisons become slower. And when the level drops to zero, only visual checking remains. Okay, so we got to go through that pretty quickly. Interesting, interesting. Don't forget to mark all the errors found in your inspection report. Oh, was there already something wrong there? Okay, so that's just a report of what we find wrong. So if we find even one error, I guess we have to turn them away. And if we get a full clean report, they get in. Oh, and over time it gets harder and harder. So we'll have more stuff to check out. It's keeping it kind of simple right now. So name, surname, expiration date, passport number, and photo. So just the basic stuff right now. 
Okay, let's go through that pretty quickly. Passport number, checks out. And then valid until then. Oh, can't match. Okay, so that's already one error. So that's expiration date. Uh, does that look like him? Kind of, yeah. So do I give him the documents, right? And denied because uh, expiration date. I think. Okay, he's not very happy about that. I didn't even really inspect the car. Because I think I do have to look for contraband, hence the name contraband police, right? Okay, let's see if I did this right. I think it's going to tell me. Maybe? Oh, he was good, apparently? Oh, my bad. Okay, I thought the... I thought the expiration date was wrong. Okay, maybe I had to verify that manually. Okay, hopefully we do better with this guy. Oh, so he's a foreigner. Okay, let's grab the documents. Thank you. So it's saying he has to have additional documents. So let's check the name. Looks good. Oh, passport number already seems different, right? So let's grab that out. Passport number. Valid. Can't match. September. I, I think it's okay, right? Because that's a little bit later. Entry reason is visit. Does that look like him? I mean, seems like it. Uh, I said something about needing extra paperwork or something, no? So he's from Akarostin? That doesn't look like the stamp, right? I don't think that matches anything here. Oh wait, no, that's from Kingdom of Eriki. Oh yeah, Kingdom of Eriki, okay, okay. I mean, that looks good, right? Uh, inspection finished. I guess we'll let him in. Hopefully that was the right choice. At least. And then I should probably be inspecting the car, huh? I keep forgetting to do that. Did we... Oh, it should have been returned. What? Invalid inspection. Okay, I'm doing horrible my first day. I think I'm already... <laughs> I'm already negative $200. Jesus. This is so much harder than I thought. Okay, try number three. I'm sure we'll get this one, right? Okay, name. Looks good. Passport. Looks good. Uh, valid till August. Um, so it's April. I think he's good. Tourism from United Rally. I mean, that looks good there. So, so far, nothing's wrong. I mean, that looks like him in the picture. Maybe I'm missing something from the car itself, right? Anything here? I mean, I'm kind of just going through this guy's stuff like nothing. Um, I mean, as far as I can tell, everything looks good. Unless I'm missing the date, right? April, May, June, July... Yeah, yeah. He's good. He's good. I really hope so. Um, you're good, I think? Please be good? I really hope so. Unless I'm missing something. Please tell me that was right. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Now I'm only $100 in debt. Nice. Okay, car number four. Documents. Let's check him out. So, name seems good. Passport. Oh, that's a little different. So, that's wrong. Valid April, November 1980. Oh, so his passport's expired. Oh, I could compare like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, maybe that's what I did wrong. Because then I think I could do that. Click here. I uh, just use his perception. Okay, okay. Uh, Nationality Al Baraka. Barak. Okay. Um, that looks good. Although I will say, the photo seems different. Yeah, the, the passport's totally an older guy. 
I mean, it's kind of like what I was talking about earlier. So that's already three things wrong. So I don't think we will let him in. Um, let me just do a quick inspection of the car. This guy seems kind of sus. I don't know if I'm quite at that point to actually be doing car inspections. Because it's not really giving me options to check anything out. But I think we're going to have to reject this guy. And denied. I mean, he had like three things wrong. And it's not even the same guy as the picture, so I hope that's right. I just don't want to be in debt my first day. And I think those were all the cards. Let's see, I really hope that was right. Who's this guy? Oh, nice, 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 okay. Yeah, even our commissioner's telling us uh, that was not a very good first day. Oh, got a newspaper. Collaboration exposed. Oh, it's about that one guy. Uh, I think the driver was telling me at the beginning about the Nicola. Seemed like he was taking bribes and stuff and now sentenced to 10 years of hard labor. But in good news, the government's giving away apartments. Nice. I mean, can I get one? It looks like I'm living in a trailer home. Not that I'm complaining, but it could be a lot better. And why is it only me? Everyone else probably has a nice house and everything. Hold on. I want to do a little bit of exploring. Let's just uh, look around. Maybe I can find one of those uh, hidden cash things. Ooh. Am I pooping? What the heck? Okay. Let's grab that. Oh, nice. hundred bucks right there. So it seems like there's just hidden stuff around here. Oh, look. Another one over here. Another hundred bucks. Okay. I couldn't really find anything else. If I really want to, I could maybe search the forest. But eh, we'll save that for another day. Let's head in here, and I guess we just sleep. So sleep regenerates the level of perception required for automatic document comparison. Full regeneration takes eight hours. Upgrade your quarters to increase the maximum level of health and perception. Okay, so it seems like that's where we'll spend our money. Because it'll make our job easier throughout the day. Wait, hold on. So, okay, so we only got two correct checks, which gave us 200. Found two files, so another 200. We got two of the checks wrong, so that costs us $200. We have to pay for our property maintenance, which is $60. And what the heck is this personal salaries? Why are we paying for that? Jeez, okay. We only made $65. That's horrible. If I hadn't found those files, I would have been actually negative for the day. I don't know what would have happened there. <laughs> All right, so here we are, day two, and it seems like we have problems with smugglers now. So someone who didn't stop issue is going to try to cross the border. Partial registration number 18XP, and then we got another one over here about someone from a gang, and their age is 36. So we're looking for registration number 18XP and someone who's 36. So let's see if I can remember that in addition to everything else I'm doing. So let's go ahead and let the first car in. Wait, 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 wait. 18 XP. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, let's ask him to get out because he's already kind of suspected. At least that's what our inspector's telling us. Oh, okay, so they mark the contraband with snake marks. So you can find contraband in these places, tire, headliner, fender, fuel tank, bumper, and or air filter. I mean, we already found it there. You stay here, okay? I'm gonna go get a knife. Don't do anything. How nice of him just to, you know, not do anything. 
All right, let's cut that open. Ooh. Hey, 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 what, what are you doing there? Step back, sir. Oh, and it might not even be kind of inside something. It's literally just right there. And then we have some structures, apparently. Oh, so yeah, we're going to get various tools. Blades cut upholstery and tires. Blunt tools break down exterior. Axes for trunks and tanks. And then there's shovels and pitchforks for various things. And tools wear out, so I have to buy tools too. Oh my gosh. And I guess just some examples of stuff. Okay. Um, I guess we're just ready to rest him without doing the other stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, we're actually taking him to jail. Or labor camp. Oh my god, that sounds horrible. And then we could upgrade the prison to increase the maximum number of places. Ooh, we have to actually prevent them from escaping by hiring a prison guard. Remember that leaving the prisoners in the police car overnight, they may also escape. Oh man, there's actually quite a number of things to worry about in this game. It's a lot more in-depth than I could have ever thought. Jeez, how are you doing in there, buddy? Nothing to say? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, where the heck is this? Oh. So yeah, obviously no tools right now. Okay, so we got this warehouse. We could store our tools, weapons, and recovered contraband and goods for trade. Oh, so we take their stuff and sell it. Interesting. You can carry selected items from your inventory or directly from the police car. Move items quickly between the windows with control and mouse click. So I guess we're just putting that there like that. And then I guess that's going to be sold or something, from what I understood. Now we got to ask that guy to get rid of the vehicle. Okay, okay. This is actually really, really cool. Oh, I thought it was taking a piss. Um, yeah, can you clear that? Do we get money for the car? Do we sell it? Oh, I think we did. Oh. And yeah, here are all the different tools we're getting. Each for different purposes. Okay, let's move on to the next guy. Seems like we're still looking for someone who's 36 years old. So now we have to do document inspection and the actual contraband inspection. How's it going, buddy? Okay, name checks out. Passport looks good. Oh, never mind. That's actually completely wrong. Um, Still valid. Nope. What about your date of birth? Oh, he's 36. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. And yeah, I mean, everything's expired on this guy. Passport's expired, entry's expired. Oh, wait, no, entry's still good, I think. Oh, never mind. Lots of stuff wrong there already. Uh, photo looks... Um... No, even the photo's wrong. So only right thing about this guy is the name. Let's ask him to step out so we can inspect for contraband. Because he is still on the smuggler list. Alright, what do you got here, buddy? Hidden compartments. Anything in there? Glove box. I can't even really see. Nope. Nothing there. I mean, there has to be something. He fits the description extremely well. Maybe one of the tires has a mark. Nothing there. Nothing there either. Uh oh. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the car seems good. But he obviously didn't pass inspection, right? He has three of the four things wrong. So we're going to deny him. I just wonder if he maybe should have been arrested, you know? Uh, let me close that for you, sir. Because, yeah, I, I could not find anything. Oh, what if it was on the inside of the wheel and I didn't see it? Dang it. Okay. 
I didn't even think about that. Let's see what happens. I feel like I messed up on that one. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. Okay, okay. So it's not always going to be the exact same thing as there. So just because he, 30, he was 36 doesn't mean he had to be arrested. Okay, documents. Looks good. Uh, passport looks good, too. I think I'll just do the date stuff. That way I don't wear out my perception too quickly. Uh, reason for work. Uh, kingdom. Okay, so he's from the Kingdom of Erike. Stamp looks good. I mean, he hasn't really failed anything. Uh, face checks out. I think everything's pretty much good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're good to go, man. Come on in. I hope I did that right. Oh, I didn't check the age. Oh, no. What if it was him? Oh, man. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. I totally forgot about the age. What do you got? Uh, name seems good, I think. Passport. I'll try to do some visual again. Uh, valid. Still good, but like a month. Let's do that. I don't really know how to check the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is what I should do. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 36. Okay, so I should be inspecting him for sure. Uh, does this country check out? Yep, that seems good. Oh, I should even notice the stationery. I didn't even think about that. It's kind of like that kind of pinkish with like a darker pink or red. Interesting, interesting. Um, so let's have him step out. Because he's suspected of contraband. Uh, and he, oh, I already saw it. Oh, there's nothing to see there, huh? What's that? So I think we use a knife for this. I'm not trying to hurt you. Gosh, okay, maybe I should do it inside the car. Yep, cigarettes. Oh, he's trying to bribe me. Nope. Wait, how much though, actually? 350? Oh my god, I only make $100 from this. No, I'll be a good citizen. And do it properly. Oh man, that's so tempting though. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of money, guys. Both in this game and real life. I think that might be everything though. Let me just do one final pass of the wheels. And then... Oh no, there's some hidden there. Okay, that's really like three things. So I think we might be good. So this guy is going straight to jail. Even though I could have made so much money from him. Ooh. Hey, look, you got a friend now. Don't do anything mischievous. Oh, we can only hold three people here right now. Okay. Let's have our friend clear the car. And I think that's it for the day. Ooh, thwarted smuggling. So that was only $80. So maybe I missed something. Oh, so I missed contraband in the left rear tire. Okay, so if I did that, I would have gotten the full 100 from that guy. Interesting. Alright, let's head back home. Wait, do I want to go to sleep right now? I think I need to find some of that hidden money. Or else I'm going to lose all my money throughout the day. So let's go, uh, let's go explore the backwoods a little. I mean, the picture seemed like it was going to be pretty obvious with like a shovel and something else. Oh, wait, am I supposed to buy the shovel to do looking? Maybe I'm looking for like a snake on the ground type thing. I feel like that would kind of make sense. Okay, so I didn't find any hidden money or anything. I'm assuming maybe I need a shovel. But either way, I think I'm supposed to come here and deposit the cigarettes. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping I get paid for that at the end of the day. Let's head to our little trailer and go to sleep and see what happens there. I'm kind of worried about tomorrow because they just keep adding more and more stuff for me to do. 
If they could increase my pay, that'd be kind of nice though. But I highly doubt it. Okay, so with four correct checks, made $380. Property maintenance, $60. I wonder why it says three. I wonder what that means. Personnel salaries, three. Oh, I think that's the, the people in the buildings. Okay, because I guess I'm paying for the other cops because there's like three of them, right? And then I'm assuming later on, if I get prison guards, I have to pay them too. So probably be about a hundred in total, unless they get paid higher. I don't know. Did I not get money for the contraband? I really should have taken that 350. Although I am curious what would happen if I did. Okay, so day three, we're actually transporting these guys to a prison or something. So for right now, we're grabbing them one at a time, taking them to the police car. Oh, they just disappear into the ether. Okay. <laughs> that makes my job easier. And let's grab all this contraband. And then we head over to the police vehicle. Sorry, I couldn't find the gate there for a little. So police garage, this is where police cars are stored. Talk to a mechanic to prepare the desired vehicle or repair damaged vehicle. So, supposed to put the contraband in here. Let's do that. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got a fire axe. Is that just a spare? It did say we're going to, um, I forget, I already forget his name. But we're going to a store and we can pick up more tools and upgrades, I guess. So first stop is the labor camp. So we're over here at the border post. So we have to head right and kind of just follow the road all the way over there. Um, seems like I might have to do some off-roading to actually get there. Oh, this is so cool though. And we're off. Interesting. I did not expect to be doing this type of mission. Can I check the map while I'm driving? Yes, I can almost hit that car. I have to be really careful to not do that because I'm assuming it's going to cost an arm and a leg to fix stuff. And I mean that semi-literally. <laughs> Karat Motel. So I, is this just like a day off? Am I just free to kind of do whatever? I mean, obviously not because I'm transporting these guys. But I'm assuming maybe at the end of my shifts, I could do exploring if I really wanted to. Aww. Oh, I'm just going to chop the damn thing down. Oh, so he put the axe in the trunk. So that way he could chop this down. I mean, I already had one. Let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Or is it different? Oh, well done. Okay. That guy almost hit our door. Jeez. Here we are. I wonder if they're going to generate money for us. That'd be kind of cool, but also kind of cruel. I don't know. This game is a little dark. Okay, let's talk to this guy to transport all the prisoners, I think. Yep. Oh, we got paid for them. Heck yeah. And then what about the contraband? Hmm. Oh, now we're heading to Vlad's shop. Okay, okay. So maybe there we'll trade stuff. Come on, man. I'm trying to get through here. 
Okay, here we are at Vlad's Tools. Um, oh god. Yeah, there's not really a parking area as far as I can tell. So I guess that's good enough. Are you Vlad? I don't know, just a citizen. Oh. This guy has all the good stuff. So branch. Oh, uh, like a police baton. Handle. Oh, wait, no, it's literally just a branch. Okay. Oh, so we got all the kind of melee weapons, knives here, axes, shovels, and pitchfork. Interesting. And then, obviously, guns and ammo. I mean, luckily, they're not all that expensive. I mean, a pistol's only, like, 250 Um, I kind of do want to get a shovel in the hopes that I could find, um, treasure in the back. So that seems pretty good. Because I think that just about covers the basics of everything. Seems like there's some better items that maybe have more durability and maybe, you know, kind of chop through stuff quicker. I'm almost tempted to get a gun, but I don't think I need that just yet. And I could probably resort to using my knife or something. So we'll be back, Vlad. Now we're off to the police station. Which is northeast. Okay. Ooh, this place looks kind of fancy. And it says this is where we'll pass on the contraband. So it seems like we do maybe make some money from that. Only a hundred two bucks? Dang. That's really not a lot. I should, again, I should have taken the 350 from that guy. Oh, thank God, there's a third person. Okay, I've been kind of driving around blindly. <laughs> this is, uh, this is much better in third person. Okay. Jeez. Hold on, I just realized. Yeah, we have sirens, lights, and everything. Oh, people pull over. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I'm not going to use that too much because knowing this type of game, I'll probably get in trouble for that. And I got to hold on to every dollar I can. Ah, uh, yes. Home sweet home, I think. Do I just leave this here? Oh, yeah. That counted as a day's work. Interesting. What time is it? Uh, five o'clock. I'm not even sure what time our day really starts. Because then I could probably use this time to go, um, you know, go find some treasure or something. I mean, there's quite a bit of places we could still look at. I'm assuming those old ruins would be kind of promising. And, you know, yeah, we have a little bit of time, so how about we do that? Let's go ahead and get out. I mean, luckily I have a shovel in case we need something. Dang, this car got absolutely toasted. I wonder... If I'm actually supposed to use the UV light to find the contraband. I mean, is it even contraband? It's just hidden treasure, right? Technically. I'm not even sure if I'm really supposed to find it here. Maybe this is supposed to be like a gang hideout. But hey, I'm kind of noticing... Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, okay, hold on. So it seems like I found a hidden room. I mean, it literally has a snake on it. So some more files there. Hey, I mean, that's at least a hundred. And it says there's 14 of those. Okay. That's at least a little bit better. I just have no idea how to find any of the treasure. Because at least from the picture, it seems like it's just out there in the open. All right. So unfortunately, I didn't really find anything else. Uh, I'll try to look into it to see how we find some of the hidden treasure. Because again... It's really hard to make money in this game, and it's actually really easy to lose it. So how about we leave it there for now? That was my first three days in the contraband, please. Uh, didn't go too bad other than the first day, but I think I have a better idea what to look out for. At least for now, until they start adding on more stuff. But yeah, super excited to see the upgrades we can do and everything else we can unlock. Because again, I, from what I've seen, it gets pretty crazy with like shootouts and chases. Okay, and before leaving, I just wanted to show the totals for the day. So we got 102 for the contraband, 200 for the prisoners, found one KGP files. 
I think the shovel was 25 and then, you know, kind of the other stuff. I guess maybe I did bump the car a little. So that costed uh, 15 bucks right there. Not too bad. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.